Such a beautiful girl, sweet as can be. Can't imagine the smile on Jesus' face after he got to see the first day her parents met her, when she was a baby and they held her, when Olivia came into our world. The first time I met her, she was as sweet as a gentle touch. She was brave, happy, full of energy. She taught me so much. Her smile lit rooms brighter than the sun. Being her roommate was fun when I met that special little one. She helped me conquer a fear of mine when she had a fear of her own. One no six-year-old should have to have. Still, she reminded me I'm not alone. I held her hand, little yet strong enough to help me stand, when Olivia became my friend. The time came to go our separate ways, when I had to go back to my town. I still would never forget my friend, the sweetest one around. We planned on going to see her, but we never got a chance to see her. The day was coming we didn't want, and it was coming closer and closer. We prayed for a miracle, questioning if it would come while she still suffered. Then the answer to our question came before she even turned seven, when Olivia went up to heaven. I cherish the time I had with her, and even though her, her time on earth is up, I know she's with angels flying higher than her favorite Paw Patrol pup. Everything's different in this world now that that sweet little girl went away to be with the Lord. But I know it's not goodbye, for she is now home. No more pain, suffering, or crying, and no more thunderstorms. But for she is now with Jesus and the angels. Saying see you soon was painful, but we will if we remain faithful. She's dancing and singing in heaven, which is definitely a beautiful thought. I still have the seashell she gave me for whenever I feel distraught. It's the same size as her hand, which I know I'll hold again when I join Olivia in heaven.